Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be drawing Mitsuya from Tokyo Revengers. So I'm on landscape paper. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So let's go. So center point of my page is about here. We just come up over to the right hand side and we start with his eye. So we go diagonal first. And then we just gotta bring it across and kind of down the back, okay? That's the top eyelid. And you can thicken it up, right? So, you know, just adding some extra weight to the top eyelid line, right? Just making it thicker. Like that. And then the bottom eyelid. So we'll just come down around. There, maybe come a bit closer just to here. And then he has like an, a line just around the corner of his eye there. And then his iris and his pupil. So large iris, like so. And his pupil in the middle. So the other eye, pretty much the same. So we're about eye width over. So the width of his eye will fit in between and that's where the next eye will start. Okay, just there. And we go diagonal up and then across the top again, down the back. And then you just thicken this up. And then his bottom eyelid comes around here, back up into there. So we got a slight head tilt, I'd say on this. Yeah, sort of this, this eye is kind of slightly higher up. You can see they don't kind of line up slightly. I think his head is kind of tilted a bit to the left. So, and then his iris and his pupil again. So just inside here, curve lines and pupil, like so. And he has a line just around the corner there. And then we'll add his eyelid lines. So we'll just go up and over like so. And something similar on this side, up, over, like that. And his eyebrows. So he's got sort of um, shaved looking sort of eyebrows, right? So we go up like so, like a tick up. And then there's a gap, right? So we have a blocked off sort of area here. And then the, we jump, leave a gap, and then come down like so. And you could have like some lines inside there. Do the same thing pretty much on the other side. So we go sort of a tick up that way. And then block it off at the end. Then bring it back to there. And then we have the pointy part going down back to here. And then he has like some lines on the inside. Okay, so we'll get under his nose and we can just see nostrils just here. Right, just two nostrils down there. And his mouth, so he's got a smile. So it's just coming across and sort of smirk it up there. Maybe a little bit on this side as well. And 
then he has just a bottom lip line just down here like that and then his chin just there so then you can check sort of levels of things so eye to nostrils is about the same as nostrils to chin so here to here about the same as here to here so like top eyelid you know here to here about the same as there to there and then nostrils to bottom lip about the same as bottom lip to chin so here to here about the same as here to here and then we can do the jaw so we'll bring it up the side up to there and then the other side up like so you're stopping just underneath the corners of his eye and then across some sort of the mouth area there and go up like so and up the other side right Right, so we've got an earring just here, big earring, like so. It's like the Swedish flag. <laughs> and so it's got like a cross inside. Like so. And then his ears. So got a bit of a head tilt, so like the, uh, the ears are a bit lower down than usual, so they're like across from his eyes here. Could just be the style of the anime though as well. Like so, and here. Like that. And then bones and ligaments on the inside, so I always say easiest way is just this sort of letter J sort of thing. You can sort of build up from there then, so you can add sort of more lines here, like so, Ta -da. around here, another one inside there, something else here, it's amazing the way every anime does this differently. All right, so moving on to the hair. So his fringe, so he's got like this sort of dark hair underneath his dyed sort of hair on top, right? So you got like a couple of spikes and then the shaved sides of his head there. And then the rest of the spikes will go up around the side of his head and come across his fringe. So a couple there, right? And then his hairline. So like the forehead size is usually, so like eyebrow to the top of the forehead is usually like the same as eyebrow to nose, right? You know, and everything's sort of in proportion. So here to here is about the same as here to here. And then just so you don't make the forehead too big in relation to the rest of his face. And then you just go keep doing spikes across. Like so. Right, so then we'll go up around the top of the head. And you're probably going up maybe that distance again. Right up to maybe a little bit less. Right up to the top of my page anyway. So it'll be like about forehead height, right up there. And there are all these short spikes. Like 
so and he can have some here some texture lines and things So, neck, so neck sort of comes down from here. Real long, like so. And then we can have like neck muscle line there. Maybe something there. And then his collar. So he's got that black uniform on. So the collar then sort of comes around down to here to this sort of V shape there and then we have collarbones like so and then his lapel for his, his jacket just sticks out here like so and the other side these triangles Stick out like so, down to there, and then curve back in. And so his shoulders, so you want to go about head width out for where his shoulder will be, right? So you're going to measure his head, that's where like the edge of his shoulder will be, okay, roughly. And like, you know, on, on this side, just about there as well. Right, so that's about how wide you want his shoulders to be. So then we will bring out a line out here. And we've got, he's wearing like a suit jacket, so there's a couple of bumps here and a line that goes down for his armpits. Just there, and then this comes down the side. And then he has like a military style lapel on the top with a button, just there. And then, same thing on this side. This side's kind of bumpier. We got like his armpit line there. And the line comes down. I think he's got like his hand on his hip or something here. And then his armpit there. And then again, we have a lapel, military style, on the top of his jacket just there um, but I think that that is everything that is how to draw Mitsuya from Tokyo Revengers hope it was helpful guys thanks for watching see you in the next one bye